Who's there?
<laughs> Go ahead and hide, little bleeder! I do not see them anymore. It was not locked at all. Oh, wait. You did this? Hell Russian, no! I am equipped with defensive capabilities. Be of assistance. A moment, please. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. It's all right. I'm here for you. Sa hey. Do you need some? A moment, please. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. It's all right. I'm here for you. Thank you. That means so much. Becoming a synth is just so overwhelming. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts. Feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Yes. No. And see? Now my head goes ever more. Spin, spin, spin. You make it look so effortless. Like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. The world? Not so sure, but you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal, but now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. We appear to be under fire. Where'd you go? Huh? <coughs> Gonna find you? Gonna kill you? Imminent threat detected. I have sustained considerable damage. Dangerous? Combat is quite vigorous exercise. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh
see me, human! This is death! At least I can avoid battle this time. Ah! Wounded! Are you still intact? Oh, beneficent bard! A rescuer! You are the first to actually make it to the cage. I think the super mutants killed and <clears throat> ate the others. Quickly get us out of here! More of my brothers will be here soon. They know a human is attacking the tower. The super mutant too? Yes, him too. Oh, he's harmless. Well... Actually, he's far from harmless, but he won't hurt us. Trust me. Strong will not hurt human if human rescues Strong and Rex. See? Why is the super mutant caged? He defied his leader by standing up for me. See, I've given him a new purpose in life. I came here to teach these poor, ignorant creatures culture. I started with Macbeth. I guess they found it funny. All of them except Strong here. Strong learned secret to human power from Mac, Beth. Milk of human kindness. Strong will find milk. Strong will drink milk. Strong will have secret power of humans. Yes, yes, of course he will. When they grew tired of taunting me, they threw me in this cage. Little did they know, there was a radio in here. They know. You bait to catch more humans. What? Why didn't you tell me? Strong thought you know. See what I have to work with? I've promised Strong to help him find the milk of human kindness if we get out of here. What are the super mutants gonna do with Strong? Throw him off the building. They're taking bets on how many times he'll bounce. Unbelievable. Let me think about it. Just let us out! Hey, Strong. Go away, Bleeder. Follow Strong. He knows the best way down off of this cursed tower. Go to lift. Go fast, humans. What? Who's that one there? Time to die!
So that whole milk of human kindness thing, that's from the death. I thought I could civilize these savages by teaching to them. Strong here believes it is the secret to human power. So he wants us to help him find it. I shall lift our spirits by quoting from the bard. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet song. Our doubts are true. Gonna splatter your Make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. So why, so young? They say do never live. Hell is empty and all the devils are here. Let me embrace this sour adversity, for wise men say it is the wisest course. It's nothing. Why is it stopping? We're all going to die, aren't we? Rex. <clears throat> Many thanks for that timely rescue. What were you doing up there? I was attempting to teach those super mutants human culture, trying to civilize them. I thought if they could just experience the majesty of Shakespeare, it would change them forever. And who better to open their eyes to the wonders of the Bard than Rex Goodman? The foremost actor in the world today. Yes, well, <clears throat> in any event, I'm quite grateful. I'd like you to have this. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I think it's time I left this awful place. I'm returning to WRVR and resuming my career in radio. Must have been nothing. Go find milk of human kindness with straw. Why do you want to find this milk of human kindness? Milk is secret to humans. Macbeth say milk makes humans strong. Stronger than super mutants. Strong find milk, drink milk. Make super mutants stronger than humans. Not yet, but soon. Hurry! Strong no like waiting. I hear something. <sighs> no fun today. What's that? Sniper has found us. Your pulse and vital signs are still within acceptable parameters. Running from something? Welcome home. Didn't talk about Vault 81. Some problem there you were caught up in? 
quarantine or some such? Damn, you get around. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? You're just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! But ain't that a kid? The Silver show? Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death is coming for you, Wayne. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding hey, the innocent. What's with the fancy dud? That guardian is expensive. the silver Might be I found a new episode, the mystery of Mayor Murphy. Slowly now. Your crimes have yourself. gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Silver well. Nothing Fred a few not bullets won't cure. You mess with me, I'll be dead. Mistress of mystery. Why <coughs> didn't you just go on such a bow? 
tracking our dear Mayor Murphy. We're up to some mischief. The Mayor. So, he <laughs> wasn't here in some kind of official capacity. Hardly. Here, let me show you. Don't move. The contents of the late Mayor's We can do this the easy way? But these I heard you. Let's real just estate stay calm. Leases a deed you for most of the citizens. Scully Square. Indeed, they are my intrepid investigator. It would seem our mayor was involved in a rather crooked caper. So violent. He was here to meet with some other mysterious malefactor. You should wash your hands after that. So, it can Mr. be mayor, unsanitary I hope you found to handle the disease. What the? Silver! Friend of the show! Jerry is here! Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? It's on. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man! Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. What? You need Just something to take the edge off? off? Fred Wait, this guy's actually Hotel real. Rexford. Oh, oh look you. you better believe it. Hell of a load you're carrying. So, Jerry, better sell some to Daisy on. before someone Tell swipes it. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Yeah? Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Heard now. what you did. He's doing Save good that Rex himself. Goodman from the super he mutants. He's got a whole new market. Yes, not everyone Kids. appreciates Even the with his garbage Am I right? Just breaking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna You're do something. my light, it. man. AJ's <laughs> selling the kids. And his chems have killed people. And? We ain't the only friends it. of AJ here. You follow? You can't let hey, AJ kill kids. Look at the clown. This is my turf, Whatever. clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespassing. Galaxy News Radio. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. You can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, Jasmine, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. Pain, and, uh, ecstasy. maybe get Kent off my back. All right? The den of mysteries. Shh. Be still, sweet trout. Stop selling to I children, a miscreant, or face my suffer. wrath. What you are Mistress doing is quite self. illegal. I'm Screw you. All right. Waste the freight. I suppose <laughs> Stumbled upon a most sinister plot. This is for you. Ah, no, dear. <laughs> Shroud stumbled. The mistress of it. I knew of the mayor's misdeeds. Men secondary defenses. I followed him. That's the, the silver shroud bringing justice to good neighbor. This is for you. Bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villain of disaster and the professional spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel, Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him by the truth to his wear. The streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. You step through the gate, and you got balls. Charlie. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. 
What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud then? More like a nutter. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house? You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a murderer. A very skilled murderer. Listen, mate, the combat scan shows you know what you're about. Save your caps by a logger instead. Just for the beer and cigarettes. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business then. Good luck. Hey, Silver Shroud. Come on, tell me your secret identity. I won't tell anyone. But if you're searching for something Yeah? To bring you comfort Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Ever been to Kill or Be Killed? Some fine looking weapons. Peace, brother. Ahem. Oh, it's you. Human!
There is a lot more of this up here than I was meant to be Have you found something new? No! I'm just getting started! Engaging in close combat. I believe I already have enough in close combat in the Engaging secondary defenses. You must be Kendra. And you. You're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Are you an assassin? No. I'm paid to make big, bold statements. Don't screw with us. If you do, you and everyone around you dies. Who's your boss? A walking corpse like you shouldn't trouble yourself about that.
<clears throat> You're with the Minutemen, right? No one sent me, but the Minutemen are always here to help. A pack of feral ghouls has wandered in nearby. It's too risky to have them so close, and we need someone to clear them out. Not a problem. Those ghouls are as good as gone. It'll be good not to have to keep an eye under every log and scrap pile for them. Some very bad people may be coming. It's not safe here. Hi. Please, don't come any closer. I don't know you. Just, just go away. instead?
digging. Starting the building. Resuming combat operations. This is for you. Imminent threat detected. I may have detected unusual behavior. <laughs> Engaging secondary defenses. I wonder if we've seen took care of those ghouls that were there. giving you trouble. You did? That's great news. Fella, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude and our support.
Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy! Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows. Hey, Hancock. Look who it is. We heading out again? Not now. Suit yourself. Look who it is. We heading out again? Not now. Suit Hey. What you got? Hey, Hancock. Playing dress-up is fun and all, but you walked into something a whole lot bigger. Those lowlifes you've been taking out for Kenny Boy, they all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's gonna want some good old-fashioned revenge. You dig? So who is this asshole? His name's Sinjin. He's taken two-bit raider outfits and made them... scary. Small fish now, but if left alone. I happen to know where some of his other boys are. Smiling Kate operates outside of Bunker Hill. And Northy's got a pad over at Prospect Hill. You take them out, and maybe we can find out where the big guy himself is stashed. Good neighbor would rest a whole lot easier with him out of the picture. I'm up for some community service. You know, you're all right. You take care of Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show some gratitude. You feel me? Someone put in a whole lot of effort to keep out the riffraff. And yet, here we are. <laughs> 